Shut up and sit down. What's up, guys? <clears throat> Brad back with uh, Jack's Guns and Equipment. Back here today with our uh, another update video on our 6.5 Grendel build. As you can see, we finally did finish the lower. Finished it up a couple days ago. Just uh, wanted to do a quick video on uh, recapping what's on it there. I, I did a video on the lower and the trigger and the parts kit. Uh, did not do anything on the furniture. And as you see, I went FDE on this build. I did um, the Magpul uh, hand grip in an FDE. Has the uh, compartment on it. Nothing too special. If you're familiar with Magpul, you've seen them. Uh, secondly, uh, went with a Trinity Force Alpha stock. And for the price, I am really impressed with this stock. The, the only downfall to it, which I'll get to in a few minutes, isn't really a downfall. So this stock, um, nice, sleek design, has a silicone injected top, has the, the hole on the top if you got a uh, numbered buffer tube to where you can uh, see what uh, position you got it in. Got a thick butt plate on it. Not that 223 kicks much, but hey, there's still there's still pluses to that. It's got a very rigid rigid design too to help keep it in place on your shoulder. It's got a QD detachment that goes through to both sides. Got these cutouts down here on the lower part to give you uh, other attachment points for a sling if you wanted it, or I don't know. I mean, you, it's also cutting weight with the holes, I guess. Um, and then your position selector is very low profile. It's not hanging out. You're not going to catch it on anything. And as I said, I did have one complaint. The only complaint I have about the stock, like I said, isn't really that major, is that pin that holds it in position. That thing, the spring on that thing is extremely stiff. It was hard to get it on the, on the buffer tube. Or at least hard for me. Maybe that's just my problem. Maybe it's nothing wrong with the stock at all. But anyway, um, yeah, so there it is. There's my uh, lower from my Grendel build. Uh, the only part that I didn't go over in either one of these videos is the buffer tube. The buffer tube is just a run of, your, run of mill. Sorry. Run of the mill. Um, mill spec buffer tube. Nothing special. It wasn't branded. wasn't any kind of special spring or buffer. Uh, just run basic and if it runs smooth great if it doesn't then maybe I may have to change something but I don't look for there to be a problem but there you have it that's my uh, lower from a 6.5 Grendel I'll be building the upper soon I'll be doing a parts video beforehand and um, that's all for today guys I appreciate you watching uh, please like subscribe comment down below and we'll see you in the next one